You know, when I need you, you can just catch on fire. That's what you can do. Fuckers! Holy shit, why are my entire team with balls on wheels? Because you start off watching it and you go, I don't know what's going on. By the end of it, you go, oh my god, what is up with this movie? Then you got the Ram Man standing there, plays different music, and it's really cool, and it's just the best. Got button, and cute button. Whatever it's supposed to be called, cute button. I don't know what it is. Hey guys, this is welcome, welcome to my beanie games. We have more fun that fun. It has been a while. I've just been working really, that's the, the main problem for me. And I haven't played Rocket League since March 13th apparently. It's now the 29th of May and yeah, so a fair few things have happened. Um I never, I don't think I really mentioned much about the coronavirus stuff in my, in, in a lot of my videos. Oh my god, that is dumb. Oh. Just keep it over there. Fuck! What were you doing, you dumbass? Doesn't take long for me to drop swear words. <laughs> Apparently. No, it's because dude was in the way. God damn it. We've got a 20 minute game going on here. I don't think I really need to say much about coronavirus. Things are getting better in Australia, and certainly in South Australia. Um, and we had an, we had a new positive case. We didn't have a case from, is it the 9th of May until the 27th of May? And then the case that we got was because someone from Victoria got across the border. No, they weren't even from Victoria. They got across the border of Victoria, and they were an international person. And they got in because of freaking emotional reasons or whatever you want to call them which is the dumbest thing I've ever heard of you know all of that oh my grandma's dying or whatever yeah but you go and give your grandma coronavirus and that's what you fucking do for it well thanks you killed your grandma nice job I just I just don't think that it's the smartest move but you know stupid people live among us and unfortunately they fuck it up for the rest of us and that was a dumb move in the game by me. I have the skills, I'm not focusing. Because my freaking hand hurts. Everything hurts. I got a new phone. Um. Ooh, hey, hey. That wasn't too bad. Oh, damn it, I could have. That could have been so good. Oh. There we go, just stick that up there. And then, oh. 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 It's irritating. We've got twenty minutes. It's gonna be fine. We'll be all right. We're just gonna watch out for our Dean Bat freaking. Teammates, that's all. There we go, good job. Yeah, I got a new phone. It's the Samsung Galaxy A20. I had a Samsung Galaxy S5 before, but um, the battery ran out. I was, I thought I was fine with the battery. Uh, I switched it with someone else because they were saying, "Oh, can I just, uh, can we just switch batteries? There's something wrong with mine." And I said no, and then they made me. 
because I'm too nice. And that's what sucks about staying, basically it's a family member, that's the big problem. So you go, fine, if I have to. And so, you know, now there's two batteries that don't work. But also, I got my old phones out, and none of those batteries work, so... It could be, could be right. Could be that. That's just what happens. But I think that I could have done better with it. Because I freaking, I mean, first of all, I suck at the moment. I'm not focusing. I'm trying to talk while playing the game. It never works. I'll just play something different, something a bit more fun. Doesn't require too much. Concentration. Skill. Like, I wouldn't play a racing game because my hands hurt and we're pushing pretty hard. <sighs> Got me getting all the assists. Dude's doing well. Dude is the same person who freaking didn't move out of the goals. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Yeah. <coughs> yes. That was good. That one's gonna... I, that sounds so cool. I want to put that one in the 2021 intro. Also, I like how how many um, bits of the 2020 intro are made of Rocker League stuff, I think. So I had to try and find stuff that are from... Um, that's, that's not all being in the same spot. Yeah. <gasps> what the heck? How did you manage to do that? Right, go roundhouse. Oh, fucking hell. Was that... I think that was just me being a dill pickle. Speaking of dill pickles... What in the world was that? Um... So it's been a long time since... Oh... Since we had a uh, pickle shaped peanuts video go up, it's been a long time since we had a recording session with pickle shaped peanuts. I think the last one was in 2018 or something. Not lying, it's been a really long time. Um, but look, we're all still keen as ever, as far as I'm concerned, and the content is always freaking awesome. It's the funniest stuff ever with Mickle Pickle and Angrove, and um, I'm just a part of that, and it's absolutely hilarious, and it's a huge joy to be a part of. Um, and Same Industry is having a bit of a rebirth at the moment, as a consequence of the coronavirus pandemic. Is uh, getting Frank back in the videos. Oh, that was so close. Um, so, Akira, Sora, and I are doing a series of Civilization V, where I wipe the floor with him, and he sucks. And that's pretty much... I mean, he doesn't suck, he just, I guess, didn't really know how to set his country up in the position that he was in, and he clearly didn't... And he didn't see the other freaking wine resource, and I was like, fuck. Oh. He was like, oh, there's another one. And I'm like, yes, Frank, yes. You do know how to play this video game. <laughs> did they do, like, a visual update? I think they did. This game's a little, looks a little bit different. Like, the blue looks a bit different. job as well during the pandemic which makes no sense we're supposed to be restri un under restrictions but the definition of essential work is very broad and so I don't know who's I mean the only people who are really missing out on work are the ones who's uh, basically people who work in hospitality 
in some degree um, and whose job revolves around handling things that are passed to people very shortly afterwards which doesn't include things like pharmacy pharmaceutical stop, shops um, and any kind of shop really that any kind of food shop or essential good shop can stay open it just seemed a bit silly it should be a bit tougher and to say oh we're on 10 percent of our g of our gdp so why aren't we going like a hundred percent of our gdp what's so bad about i don't understand the economics of it and look i might i might eventually start in investing in a few uh subscriptions to academic journal articles academic academic journals just to get back in touch with my oh you fucker how the hell do like three of them all crash into me you guys suck um uh, because I'm a graduate of university and I spent a float, well, I spent three and a half years reading journal articles and I, not because I enjoyed it but because I thought that I well because I had to really because you got to read the good stuff to write good articles yourself or to write good essays I didn't write I didn't write a lot of good essays um, and that's just because I was lazy and for the most part, I didn't care. Well, actually, I mean, I always care about my work. Um, but I didn't have the time, and I didn't care to put enough effort into it. Ooh. That was me. That was me. Um, yeah. Was the last time I did a Friday Night Fun, I was tired. And... It's just from doing the job, and today we had a half day, or we had a, I mean, yeah, half day really, five hour day, and so, because normally I do about ten hours a day, and so I'm completely knackered at the end of it, and I just want to eat cookies and drink tea and have dinner and then go to bed. That's pretty much every day, and I watch I watch YouTube or something. Oh, actually, I, yeah, my usual thing is I get home, I watch YouTube, and have tea, and have biscuits, and, um, oh, fucker, you don't, no. come on, team. You guys suck. How come he was that far away? When you're a team, like, you, yeah, you're sure. You don't double commit, but what you do do is back one up. Back one another up. You can't just pretend... Ooh, what the hell was that? You've got to be able to support each other. You got, so I want, like, one guy going for it. And I want another guy there just in case he stuffs it up. And so that's the trick. Keep near one another. Oh, it looks like dude stuck in the goal. So they did like a nice visual update, but the AI is still stupid. People have been wanting like an AI update for ages. As I certainly have. Because I only play against AI. Oof. Oh. I guess most people do like more online. And uh, hey, I was doing a fair bit of online when I started, and doing free play just to get up to speed. 
get good at the game without pissing everyone off, without sucking too hard. Online's retarded though. People, like everyone goes for the same thing. No one knows what's going on. And sometimes I'm like, man, I'm actually not too, not too bad at this. Wait, was that my teammate who just flung that thing at me? Was that me who just balls the fucking thing up? Yes, it was. Um, yeah, so I got a new phone. Yeah, and I'm an old man when it comes to new technology. I'm like, can we just stick to the black and white television? It's so reliable. It's never failed us in 20 years. Um, and so the only reason I ever upgrade is because my thing broke. Or someone bought me a new one. I'm like, fine, I guess I'll have the new one. Uh, and then that kind of works. Okay. That's, that's fine. Glad somebody else knew where that was going. Oh boy. Oh, yes. Go, team, go. So, why did I get a new phone? So, uh, my first phone was a Sony Walkman. What is it? W33 or something like that. W. Buck. Don't care, actually. Um, so, a Sony Walkman phone from 2000, 2012 and um, it it was fine it had apps on it, it had YouTube on it I couldn't watch YouTube videos but the, the view count would be fine so in 2012 I was checking oh no So in 2012 I was checking the view count on my videos. I don't know what sort of... I, I guess I would have been checking like... What series would I have been doing? Probably The Mabini or something. Probably checking Assassin's Creed on The Mabini. Um, whatever stuff that I put on Mr. Mabini. Uh, and... You know, there's one thing that's come to mind a, f a couple of times. Whenever Isan Amato talks about the difficulties that he's having wanting to do t new TF2 videos, makes me think maybe, you know, how long do I see myself doing supercars videos for? And I've recorded the audio for my next supercars video, I just gotta spend the time, edit it, and uh, enjoy. <laughs> You gotta find the footage, and it's such a difficult topic to find footage for, because Fabian Coulthard wasn't known in 2006. Oh shoot, that was so close. Like people didn't really know about him until 2008, when he was with Paul Crookshank and not doing too badly, and especially in 2009 when he got his podium and I think he got a pole position and he was. 15th in the championship, which is worse than it was in 2008. But you know, I could do a whole video about each individual driver, and especially the ones that I've got PowerPoint presentations on. Get the briskets out of this and you fangled that knowledge. <laughs> uh, the number of times that I've seen um, the Sammy J and Randy. No, hang on. It's it's Randy's. Uh, Randy wrote a book. Is that what it's called? I think it's called Randy wrote a book. And so the comedy duo, uh, Sammy J and Randy, but they go individual sometimes. 
And I think Randy's better in, better by himself. As well, actually, Randy's not too bad by himself. But uh, what they they just do different things. Randy does like a stand up thing, and uh, Sammy J. Uh, I don't know what he does. He does something else. He might do just some songs or something like that because he's the the songwriter and Randy does Randy sort of the comedy genius I guess of the lot um, and there's just the number of times that I've seen Randy wrote a book the, the special is so it, it's just really funny there's always something that I think about that's from that um, although maybe even worse is probably the number of times that I think about the Cars movies because <laughs> I just love those movies they're so funny well that they're funny and they're interesting they're like all the things I love because it's cars, and obviously I love V8 supercars, and so it's about racing. And so a lot of those themes from the Cars movies, um, but especially 1 and 3, and... Oh, I just really like him. You just... Oh. Oh, every fucking time. Every time I move my legs, I, like, get slightly, not numb, like I almost get a cramp. No! almost get a cramp from sitting, because I'm so tall, right? And my freaking... My chair is too short for me. Everything's so short for me. That's one of those things. When I move out, all of my furniture is going to be for tall people. Alright? Oh, you dumbass. The number of fucking shots I've had and there's a pile of morons at the fucking bottom of it. Oh, fuck! It's because you dopey shit bags are at the fucking bottom of it. God's sakes. Alright, how many... F no. Stop it, you fucking idiots. Oh my god. it's We're always so fucking close to getting... To losing a freaking point. Oh, you fucking fuckers. Look at them. I, I can't put a move on because they're all fucking going flat out to smash into the fucking thing. And I just do not have the tricks in me to make it work. And I don't have the experience at the moment, like the temporal experience, whatever you want to call it. There we go, you fuckers. Oh. I mean, it's not, it's not as good as what I've done in the past, obviously, but... Oh man, it just pisses me off. You know, I might want to do some more, some Lord of the Rings. I'm gonna do some. All right, we will take that. You guys suck. <laughs> Yeah, I wanna when I move out, I wanna get I wanna just get stuff for tall people. Because I wanna be comfortable, you know? I reckon there's probably gonna be some stuff. I definitely want a taller chair. Cause all I the first thing I do when I sit in an in an adjustable chair is adjust the bastard. And that's what I was told in the first uh WHS inf WHS yeah, induction. 
Thank you, we got five goals, so he's in two bowls, four saves, thank you team member, thank you Roundhouse. Um, let's do another one. We, and let's join always win since we won. We're going to be the pride and joy, and the trick is to uh, win as, all, as always wins. Because you know, when you're the best, you always want to... Uh, you want to beat the other guys. Well, you want when you're the best, you got they get the pressure on you because you're like, oh, we're the best. We should be, we should be doing really well. Oh, you east is a crap. But the longer the game, the better I get anyway. Oh. Right, we're the we're the red guys. Oh. Apex. He basically bashed it into you. <laughs> no. 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 Ah! Let's let's see this. Like, I'm in the wrong spot every fucking time. Uh, yeah, I just want tall stuff for tall people. I want a workplace that's freaking for tall people. And you know, when I have my game design company one day, kind of a dreamer like that, I want a really comfortable environment for everyone. Uh, you know, my idea of it is it's going to be like bean bags and whatever you freaking want. Like, I want this place to be. Sure, it's a working environment, and you know we want you to be working at work, but we want you to be comfortable at work. We want to get the best out of you. We want, and so uh, if we've got freaking if. Uh, if anything's bothering you in any way, it's going to affect your performance. And so, and that's what I like at my current workplace. Uh, it's a good place, and the people are good. The works, works hard. You know, you got to hit your targets. We want to be, we want to be hitting our targets every day. Um, and sometimes we get crap jobs to do, and we just can't nail it. And we really want to nail it. We want to nail it every time, and it's. And so, what I love about it is sometimes I get so fucking sick of yelling because I get frustrated at my own ability, which is still growing because I haven't done this sort of work before. You just... Oh, come on, dingbat. That one was set up for you. You just had to march into it and knock it in. All right? There's nothing really wrong with it. It's just not for me. I'm just not the sort of person who maybe is made for this sort of job. And so that makes it really hard for me. Is learning how to learn how to do the job. Right, come on team. Nope, apparently we had to wait for somebody who could time it better. Oh, hang on a second. I forgot what team I was on for a little bit. <laughs> I thought I was on blue. I thought I was on blue. No, hang on. I th yeah, I thought I was on blue. Oh, shit. Frick. Oh, I try not to swear too much. Swearing silly is a waste of time, but at that workplace, you just like you just drop them. You're swearing all the time because. It's hard work and you're frustrated because your performance is not there. And when you're feeling good about work, you're just chatting. Chatting, doing a good job. It's freaking awesome. And, you know, we all have a laugh. We all talk about stuff. It's good stuff. There we go. Nailed it. Come on! 
your hips. Ah, good stuff. Got the hot color, hot colors, and cold colors. And I remember doing that, doing like lots of paintings of hot and cold color stuff in year seven, uh, which was my first year at what was technically my high school. So, but I was in year seven at that place, and so year seven's always um, like your last year at primary school in Australia. I know that in uh, in America especially, they have like they have so many different kinds of schools. They have I think your typical one is elementary school, and they have they just got so many different kinds of schools. And year ten for us is our third to last year. In America, I guess that's your last year. And then year 11 and 12 is college. So people who go to college are people who are educated, educated reasonably well. And I, I've got lots of education and people think that that makes me a smart person, but it just means I hung around at school for a long time. I don't like people thinking I'm smart because it, then it means I have no excuses for doing stupid stuff. You know, I should be... I, I've got the willpower to make this stuff happen that needs to happen, take responsibility, but I don't like copying crap from people just because, um, did I hit that? I don't like copying crap from people when I make one mistake, when I mostly do better than other people would. And, get, and just get rubbish from people for, for the little mistakes, and sure. Like I have one off day and it's like, oh my god, why are you so awful? And I'm just like, it's just it's one fucking day, alright? I just didn't really want to do the thing today. You know, get lazy asshole to do it. Um, here we go. Hang on. Oh, thank you. Oh, looks fancy. Not gonna put that next to the microphone. It's urban tomorrow. to do. Ah. And Amy Industries is in a really interesting position at the moment. So Liam and I are, well, I and Amato and I are, are best positioned out of all of us to get some recording done and make good episodes. But we're just not feeling it at the moment. Which is weird because, I mean, the problem is we probably thrive in person. And look, we thrived back in the day when we had Frank there. It was basically the Frank and Liam show, as far as I'm concerned. Maybe because I don't dominate socially. And so, the things that I was in charge of really was... Like, I would be the bum. I would be the butt of the joke. And I'd be fine with that. I'm fine with being the butt of the joke. Because it's funny, right? <laughs> and it does happen fair bit. Um, some people aren't, I'm fine with that. I, I give myself rubbish all the time because I'm, I'm a very, com I'm very competitive and a very, um, ambitious person. I just want to, I want to be successful and I don't have what it takes to be successful. I think I talked about this in The Sims, no not in The Sims, in, in a Rocket League video. I don't know which one because I did take down some of them for reasons. Um, 
which one? <laughs> I don't like heaping secrets, but I I have to for this one, unfortunately. I uh, have to keep it right now, at least. Just yeah, not in a position to be super duper open at the moment. Um, and that's just that's a shame because earlier this year I was super open. And then some things changed which were affecting my uh, honesty and my willingness to just talk about whatever I wanted, whatever was on my mind. And yeah, now it's just it's just different. Um, it, actually, it's really weird, um, my mentality about some things. Uh, so, my mentality throughout the second half of 2019, and actually, uh, my mentality throughout all of 2019 and throughout... all of 2012, actually, no, my mentality changed in, on, well, actually, I can pinpoint the date, oh, shoot, I don't even want to give that much detail, <laughs> I'm scrapping that, sorry, I can't risk it, it's gonna kill me, it'll kill me if I make any kind of error, actually, it doesn't usually kill me, I got, Look, I'm just uh, in uncharted territory in my life at the moment, and so I don't know how to respond to it a lot. And so, usually what I end up needing is friends to talk to. Um, and the people that I usually talk to about this sort of stuff are my workmates, because they're just... I don't know. It's just the way it is at the moment. Oh, I thought I was so in, but it's not. It's not. Yes. Ah, oh, so we got tea, we got more biscuits, there's lots of gluten free stuff, and dairy, gluten free, dairy free stuff. It's a good time at the moment. Good time, hard work. That's what it all is. It's actually really affected my creativity as well, so my Hail Kane comics are at the moment, I haven't been working on it very much because I've been working and the main problem the main uh, uh, once I get into a rhythm and I'm not too fussed about work anymore, then I'll start turning my mind towards creativity but I don't even know if I was getting that much creativity. Actually, I was getting a fair bit of creativity, a fair bit of creative things done. So I worked for three months at a cheese factory, and around the, th and then in the third month in uh, January, I think, I started to. I started to be a bit more creative because I wasn't feeling like I was complete and total garbage at work. I knew what, what I had to do. I started to feel a bit more comfortable, started to expand my abilities, my responsibilities, my expertise, everything started to improve. And I was feeling really good about that place. Um, and then uh, work sort of ended there. And that's just unfortunate. That's just the way it goes, you know? <laughs> nice teamwork. Um, so I've worked at a fair few places now. I haven't been working for very long. So I was unemployed for a bit, and then uh, my jobs provider. We have a, uh, we got a really good. Uh, actually, uh, Akira Sora is in America, and. 
He hasn't been badly affected. It's it, what it is, as far as I'm concerned, is this mentality by the middle class that there are jobs that they are not willing to do. And to be honest, I think that that's just that's like once you decide you are, that there are certain jobs you are not willing to do. Yeah, that's just tough, alright? I don't want to hear you whinging, alright? I'm puffing it out in a factory, and I'm a creative person, alright? I probably don't belong in the factory, but I'm not willing to say no to it, because I need a job, and what, what you get with a job is you get money, and you can put money aside, and then you can chase your dreams, once you can afford to chase them. And this, doing all this hard work has made me think that, you know, if I have a kid, I'm just going to freaking fund their dreams. I'm going to be Lawrence Stroll in Formula One, and I'm going to be like, my son's a great racing car driver. He deserves a seat in Formula One. And it's just not really happening for him, and I'm going to freaking help him make that happen. And, like, Lance Stroll's not a bad driver. But he's, people are looking at him like he's a pay driver. And look, he got a freaking podium in his freaking rookie season at Williams in 2018. Like, or was it 2017? You know that... And I would be that kind of dad because I'd love my kids so much and I'd work so hard in my own life to be like, chase your goddamn dreams, son. I'm going to help you chase your goddamn dreams. I'm going to, like, build the foundation for you to do it. And I, I think that there's a problem with that mentality when a father gives everything for their kid. Um... Are you going to be the sort of dad that's going to be like, this is what you have to do to be the best? Or are you going to be like, hey, whatever you want to do, man, you freaking do that, right? And it's just, I think it's a mentality that's happening across millennials and the educated class, I guess you could call it. People who've been to university or people who've stayed in school a fair while. It's just a mentality of don't you freaking... Or maybe a, a, a class of the middle middle class who are sort of protected. And I'm certainly one of those protected people. And, what you, and you end up with this protective mentality, I guess. You want to protect others and what are we like? We can't afford to tell this person that they don't have a place in our group anymore. Because what they bring is so significant. That's, the, that's uh, why I really hate seeing the supercar drivers lose their full-time gig. And look, reality is, if the sponsorship dollars isn't there, then it's just not there. Um, but what I don't like is seeing that a team owner or a team manager, whoever calls the shots on who on who the drivers get to be, say, we want a young guy. Because the cars aren't fast. We think a young guy will make the cars go fast. And look I'm thinking about Brad Jones racing tossing out Tim Slade. But obviously the reality is probably that Tim Slade was going, Do I wanna drive for BJR in twenty twenty? Do I think I'm really going to be challenging for a championship next year? Not really. And then he thought, well, you know, I might have some pretty good options. I've got some uh, good endurance opportunities knocking on my door. Oh yeah, I'll just uh, ring the phone of DJR Team Penske and see what they have to say. And DJR Team Penske are like, hey, do you want to drive a Skull McLaughlin? And he's like, fucking yes. Yes, I do want to drive with Scott McLaughlin at Bathurst and probably win it. 
Like, who wouldn't want to do that? Like, do you want to come 15th in the championship, or do you want to win Bathurst? If you win Bathurst, your career is set for a while. Um, like, freaking Jason Barguana stayed in supercars until 2011. Because he won Bathurst. He had a lot of years where he wasn't doing... Well, Jason Barguana wasn't a bad driver, he just wasn't especially good and didn't have very good opportunities at some stages. WPS was probably a risky move. Well, I mean, WPS can't... Well, like, Lee Holdsworth uh, knows that he stuffed, it, he stuffed it up in 2011 to 2012 when he moved to Stone Brothers. Because in retrospect, that was a dumb move. But, it was a doomed move, really. Maybe not a dumb move. Driving the Stone Brothers is one, like, as one of the great race teams. Getting to, getting experience of being with Ross Stone and Jim Stone. Um, driving for the team that was running Scott McLaughlin. In... Uh, actually, hang on. 2012... Scott McLaughlin's got some interesting uh, connections. Could you imagine Scott McLaughlin driving for Matt Stone Racing? He did. He did it in 2012. He did like four rounds of the championship with Matt Stone Racing because Stone Brothers were pulling out of Super 2 at the end of the year. Well, they had, heck, they were pulling out of everything at the end of the year. And... I um, might want to read the article, but, yeah, Scotty Mack drove for Matt Stone in 2012, and goddamn, that is a freaking interesting thing. Oh, the, the best thing Scotty Mack did was write that book. I didn't get the, I didn't get the real opportunity that I wanted to thank him for writing the book, because it's pretty intense when you're in a line at a signing session and you just, you gotta, I had like the one question that I wanted to get answered which was I wanted to ask Fabian Coulthard and Zane Goddard about the super light entry and you know the history of that for my video um, and Fabian Coulthard didn't even know what the super light entry was it was louder, you know it's racing Super 2 was going on at the time Kirk Kostecki later had his big crash with Jack Perkins. It was a pretty unfortunate thing. I got to see his car. I've probably mentioned this before, but I, l I am so thankful that I got to see that, got to have that opportunity. I, I, I thanked the guy again. He was like, yeah, no worries, man. I'm just like, oh, it's just... <laughs> I love that. Some people give you stuff that they don't even know how big a deal it is. And I think he said something like, you know, this is, like, I hang around this sort of stuff all the time. Like, because he had a mate who was working um, on Kirk Kostecki's team. Um, well, the Kostecki's hire out, they, they hire their mechanics, like, locally or something like that. And, you know, it's actually amazing the amount of work that those teams put in, Super 2 especially. Because they show up, they're basically, like, they're fixing the car in a tent. And they have what's essentially an ironing board to bang those panels into what turns out to be a really nice looking position. And freaking nail it. Um, and so when Super 2 comes, when Super Cars comes back, it's going to be great. Um, Super Cars is coming back. Um, on the 27th of June. And it's going to be awesome. Hopefully. Okay. I think what I just got is the 2019 Gary Rogers Motorsport um, yearbook. It's the final year of Gary Rogers Motorsport. And it's going to be a special one, I hope. Because... I mean, like, it's such an emotional year. I was there at the start, it was full of optimism. 
for a lot of people, look, the mentality of what everyone thought was thinking, you know, it's sadly Garth's not going to be there, but you got James Golding and you got Reggie Stanaway, and Stanaway did a good year that, he did a good job that year, and especially at Pukakoe. He had speed that Golding didn't. Golding was, actually, between the two of them, Stanaway had a really good Newcastle, Golding had a shocking Newcastle. That he freaking you freaking fence it in the last in the last race or something you're just like oh man it's so rubbish. But let's look at the end of the end of the game. I won again. Good job me. A lot of shots and a lot of goals. Look how many shots we got. And that's part of my theory again on the AI. You raise your game, they raise their game. That's the way it works. Um, and if there's anything that I talked about that you are interested in hearing me talk about properly, post a comment. Thank you. Bye-bye.